What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make your own uh, reaction rule command. So you will be able to uh, use the command without any issues. Um, technically, um, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the reaction rule. This reaction rule happens when you react to a message. And this is going to be the same as the reaction rules I have in my server uh, in the... What is it called? I mean, uh, self rules. In here, if you react to something, it's gonna give you the rule and if you are reacted it's gonna remove the rule from you so technically let's just say when you click on this uh it's gonna remove this rule from you and when you click on it it's gonna add the rule as you can see console so technically it's gonna be pretty much straightforward and we're just gonna use the party partials whatever you want to call them by the way you don't have to watch any of the videos that i have my last episode it's gonna be straightforward um some people are ha my contri contri contributors who are uh, trying to watch more episodes of one specific thing but if you're new to channel you don't need to be worried pretty much because I'm not gonna use any event handler or command handler and you won't have any issue uh, for people who are watching uh, my old episodes they just have to add a command into their commands folder uh, and then do this stuff so taking care I, I think they know what to do so, but for you guys, if you're new to the channel, you don't have to do this. You just have to go to your message event and then add some commands that you want. So, first thing we're just gonna say that if our command uh, was um, CMD, as, as in, if you don't know what a CMD is, I actually have a arc system here. So, uh, but this CMD is equal to message array zero. As you can see, message array is defined as this. Technically, make sure you have these. Two, I mean, these, three, these are the three requirements that you should have, and we're just gonna say that if CMD is equal equal, don't worry about this. By the way, this is for a command handler. Just, just don't worry. All right. So first of all, I'm just gonna do this, and I'm just gonna put this because we're just gonna say that prefix, as we all know, as you can see, at the prefix. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna, as you can see, set the CMD is equal to prefix. So what this means is actually is if uh, the CMD, the command that we put for this one. Uh, let's just go to the, I don't know, let's just make a channel and call it a reaction. There we go. So technically, uh, what does this mean is actually the CMD is here. So we just need to say that the CMD is this and then we, we did reactions after the prefix. It's going to do something for us. I'm just going to do another const. Uh, let's just make a let. Doesn't really matter. So let's just do let uh, embed is equal to, we're just going to make an embed. We can also do that with messages if we really, really want to do that. Uh, as you can see, I said this one. This is a let embed is gonna be new Discord. One. There we go, Discord. And it's gonna be message embed. And then what are we going to do? We're just gonna set some title. Let's set the title uh, reaction rules. Reaction. And as you can see, it's gonna set the title for us. And let's just do set um, description. Uh, React to obtain, I guess, obtain the rules. And also, I'm sorry, I will fix it. Don't worry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one. I don't know if I have to spell the okay wrong or something. Right, to gain, whatever. It's just some personal embed stuff. So the the thing that we really, really care about is, let me just put the uh, color, set color to green, whatever. Perfect. So what are we going to do here? We're just gonna say that let the message G because we're gonna react to the uh, embed. So technically, we're just gonna be pretty much difficult. So we're just gonna do msg embed. Let the message embed is equal to um, await. Uh, by the way, make sure this async because we're just gonna use the async. We're just gonna use await for our and pretty much. Um, we're just gonna say that let msg embed is gonna be await. Um, message the channel that send i guess i will send and this is gonna send the embed to it and um what are we going to do here we're just going to do msg dot react i think so yeah msg dot react uh, then you're gonna put the that you want let's just put boop whatever you can put anything that you really want i can put this one it doesn't really matter so now um, we said that the MSG is gonna react the message. Oh, okay, I forgot this. MSG embed. It's gonna react and then this is gonna happen. So let's just test it out. Let's see if we do reactions 
the plus the prefix. Let's see if this works. Let's just do uh, reactions. Oh, there we go. Uh, reaction rules react to gain the rule as you can see if I react there's nothing is gonna happen if I react nothing is gonna happen because we didn't go to the uh, Settings that we're gonna do actually. So yeah As you can see it says the reactions. This is reaction will react to obtain the rule. Um, so technically we're just gonna um, Yeah, <laughs> I'm a friend uh, as you can see it's gonna react to the uh, Message you can put anything that you want in. You can also put this custom things by the way Let's just say when I react to like let's just there's let's just say I don't know. Let's just do this. And I don't think. Hold on a second. I don't have any actual cool emojis, so don't judge me. Let's just this. Let's, let's use PP, whatever. Let's just do this. There we go. Okay, it didn't react. It doesn't matter. You just gotta remove this and you just need the ID of the emoji. I guess so, because. Yeah, you just need the ID actually. Let's just do reactions again. Okay, it doesn't really work. Well, it's fine. You just have to use the emojis that are for Windows. If you don't know how you can use that. Um, okay, unknown emoji. Okay, so let's just say you have an emoji in your server. So um, I have some emojis in my server. So let's just say this one. Mm, this one, for example, I don't know. Uh, you just got to copy the ID for it and then paste it. It just works for each server. Like it's not going to be permanent for all of the servers. You know what I mean? So uh, if you do reaction right now, action there we go it works so technically if you want to use custom emojis you have to put the emoji in the server so that's what, that's exactly what does this mean so as you can see we said the reactions as you can see we learn how we can react to something like embeds now what are we going to do we're just gonna specify that um when we react to this thing here and then what is gonna happen well in today's video uh i'm just gonna use a very specific thing called partial uh, partials are pretty cool. Cool. I have some examples here uh, from my dash cap to score bot. Um, uh, let's just go to here and then if you go to the bot.js, I use uh, partials. There we go. Those are pretty cool. Like those are insane, insanely cool. So I'm just gonna remove this guy. And I it doesn't really matter. There we go. Partials message channel reactions. So technically, what does this mean? Is this gonna define the channel and reaction to partial? It, the partials are pretty cool. That's not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, if you have your message event, uh, you just gotta close the message event. You don't need to do care about anything else. You just have to. Um, you just have to do bot dot on. Um, this is gonna. Uh, we're just gonna do another event, which is gonna be a reaction message reaction add. I guess uh, it's gonna do some stuff like that, which is gonna be um, technically. Um, the async and reaction to the user so we're just gonna do async and we're just gonna do reaction uh, and the user and i know there's an error it's fine you just gotta put uh something like this technique perfect so what are you gonna do right now you just gotta do this and as you can see we get another error which is fine because it's an event we need the arrow function so we're just gonna do this and do this and oh 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 okay so as you remember we close the bracket on here so if we do this and then do this we gotta add a bracket after this because as you can see it's gonna close the bracket for the event as well so what are we going to do here we're just gonna say that if the reaction make sure about something guys make sure you put the partials for the con spot or client whatever you have find a new discord.client and then put this thing in the bracket this thing right over here so we're just gonna say that reaction the method of partial is gonna read it and it's gonna do message.fetch so technically and don't worry we can specify it so whenever like let's just say um someone just do this here we go and then for somehow we give that reaction to them it's gonna give them a rule that's not gonna happen you can specify exactly in what channel this is gonna happen let's just say you have a server and you wasn't just gonna specify which server this is gonna happen well this is a great news. You can actually do that. You can actually specify in what channel this is going to work. And technically, we're just going to do some events for it. So let's just say you want to do this. There we go. It's going to do user.bot. Um, it's going to say do some stuff like, you know, if this, there was an issue with the message.guild, let's just say the reaction was in a wrong guild. Let's just say the reaction was in the wrong channel or some stuff like this. It's just going to test for it. And it's, if it wasn't that, it's going to return. And then um, what are you going to do? We're just going to do this. And uh, let's just do, let me, let me just actually explain this. 
do this. Here we go. Uh, this is set if try reaction message the channel dot id is equal to this here, which is gonna be the channel id. I'm just gonna specify the channel id. Let's just copy the id here, and uh, what channel? Let's just say reaction rules channel. Let's just put the channel ID here. There we go. We gotta put the channel ID right here. So what it's just gonna do is before the uh, utilizing the finding, like adding the rule to the user, uh, it's gonna basically first check for the channel and see if the channel, if this reaction added to the channel, then it's gonna work out technically, which is a very cool feature. So as you can see, we're just gonna do this and we're just gonna say that if uh, reaction, um, it's gonna do like, you know, dot emoji, uh, dot name, uh, was equal equal to uh, the reaction so for, uh, I don't think it's gonna work with this I don't think so but let's just try it out let's just do this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use a custom windows emoji so I'm just gonna use this I don't know whatever you can use anything I don't have no idea there we go so we're just gonna say that if the reaction was this then it's gonna add a rule so particularly we're just gonna do that um, we're just gonna use um so we're just gonna do uh, wait reaction dot message dot guild members dot cash dot get the user id so whenever the user reacted to this it's gonna give the user id and you mean get the user id technically and then it's gonna rules that add the rules so technically first of all it's gonna find the user id and then do this if you want to really use the await you can but i personally like using await a lot because you know we events actually so it's pretty fine if you use it so i'm just gonna use the mobile so when we react it's gonna give us the mobile rule um, technical images do not dot, and I think we should work fine without any issues. If you specify the channel ID, I'm gonna show you in a second. So we're just gonna do uh, reactions. There we go. React to obtain the rule. Do I have any rule called mobile? No, I don't have. So if I react to this, there we go. We have the mobile rule. Perfect. Um, we gained the mobile rule, but when we unreact this, uh, it's not gonna remove it. Let's just unreact very quick. As you can see, it's not gonna remove a mobile from us. And if I use this in another channel, reactions, if I click on it, it's not gonna work. If I, let me just remove it, by the way. Let me just do it again. Do it again. There we go. We, get, we don't get it because, as we said, it's gonna only work in a specific channel that we specified in here. Uh, so yeah, that's technically it. Uh, and let's, if you wanna do some stuff like removing the reaction, it's gonna be pretty simple. You're just gonna do bot dot on, and it's gonna message um, reaction remove event. There we go. And then it's gonna be exactly the same thing, but it's gonna do some, you know, different stuff. So we're just gonna do this. There we go. And uh, perfect. So what are we going to do? He's here. He's just gonna copy and paste. That's it. It's gonna copy this here and then but in here you just have to click on here it says rules that add you're gonna click on rules dot remove technically so what is this gonna do it's just gonna say that if we aren't react it's gonna remove this rule so let's just try it out now let's just do no dot and let's just do reactions and as you can see if i react to this it's gonna give me the rule and if i unreact it it's gonna remove the mirror yeah, so far so good without any issues guys you can even use this for a lot like what i mean by that is actually like let's just say you want to do another command let's just say you want to do another separate command for this you're just going to do reactions like reaction one whatever it really doesn't matter you can't put the command name as well you can put anything if you want um and yeah that's pretty much it you just have to can add more reactions you can say if the reaction is this then do this you know i think you pretty much understand any of them so if you really, really want to see more videos like this, guys, make sure to leave a like, hit that red subscribe button, and follow me on Twitter and Twitch. I will really appreciate it. And you can join to our Discord server if you have any issues or uh, errors, because we are having a lot of patients that they need help uh, with our coding. If you want to join on there, you can also be participate. We want to participate on there. Uh, and thank you guys again for literally, I'm just so happy right now. Um, I got, I'm going to be a verified developer with Gavin Wu with my friend right here. Uh, we're just going to be a verified developer pretty much soon. And it's because we are bodies in 76 servers finally. And yes, thank you guys again for all of your support. I really appreciate all of you. I hope I will see you guys in the next video. Comment down below about your questions and I will see you out.